All right, all you devils out there, happy Friday. Uh, here we are, the Friday the 2nd. It's now about 10 of 2, uh, my time here in Austin. I got to tell you, I've been back and forth uh, on this uh, for the last couple of hours, just looking for something new to bring to the table, and I just, I, I'm, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, beyond our Elliott count here, which we've had, um, well, we've had this, this same count here now for quite some time. And I think we got some confirmation coming off of the golden corner here as we get this swing here, which certainly looks impulsive. I mean, the other thing I was thinking, that normally I start these around 11.30. I thought maybe if I waited a little bit, something would happen. But absolutely, it looks like we're just going to go sideways here. So as we sit here looking at this, I, you know, I'm just using structure here. So I'm just using the prior swing high here and then the, the proposed B wave swing here. And potentially now it's a double top if that one is going to, if this is going to be our one pivot, I don't, I don't know that for sure until we start to get oh, a little bit more confirmation as to whether or not we have a top here. And of course, the only thing to do that will be a retracement. So again, I just we're just going sideways, right? It's been this way. I, what, what, let's see, last week, I think last Friday, we were oh, right, right around here and kind of projecting that the, per, perhaps if we had another kick here, this would either be a diag and it turns out to, that certainly you could count this as an impulse. Either way, off, off the golden corner here, we, we, we've got, I mean, what, what's our low here? 50 and 50,427 and we went up to a high of 60. So it's damn near a $10,000 swing. So for those of you that followed suit here off of the golden corner, and I'd like to think that the vast majority of all of our members, I mean, I, it's my signature trade. I, I don't know why any of you would not have participated there. But I did have quite a few that were just very bearish uh, coming coming into this pivot. And we talked about this last week, right? This was not this was not a difficult trade to take, right? It's very low risk, very high reward, right? It's not, not a not a ballsy trade. That's more just using your brains, not your balls. So with, with all that said, and just a quick review from last week, the, the thing to keep in mind here is that from, from swing, which again, can be counted as an impulse, to, through the, the, the ABC down to our corner here, we've got targets up here, right? So we, we certainly want to see this tag the median line because it, it, uh, otherwise we set up the, the trading principle number four, which would be a failure to make the median line would potentially have us down here challenging this low. And we just have to be mindful of that because we missed back here. Now, this could come back into play, right? So this one here, which was not golden, but a corner pocket nonetheless, right? We missed right here. So while that has targets way up here, right? So if we go up to, um, well, here's 92.5, right? So we still could tag that, right? I've seen them take years before they get tagged would not surprise me at all if we got this up here would not not even i mean odds are it will right so it's 80 percent probability right as long as we don't break this low that that 80 percent odds is still in place same here right again 80 percent odds so hitting one of these certainly will confirm the count confirm the 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 algo participation here and will give us some comfort here as we come off the low and we tag that median line, then we can kind of lock into the count, right? So all that said, that's a bit of review here. And again, I, I just was back through, you know, daily chart, every, everything I look for, looking for something new. I mean, it's literally every technical tool that's in my in my toolkit. There's just nothing here is beyond what we're doing here. Now, so if you look at this, I'm certainly that's, that's a complex count, right? That's not for the someone who is just learning Elliott Wave, right? This, this, there's a lot of complexity to this. But at the end of the day, I really, after, again, a couple of hours here looking for anything fancy that I could bring to the table here, maybe something that I hadn't seen or something new that I could bring to you guys that you hadn't seen. At the end of the day, I, as I will often say, when in doubt, it's just so much more beneficial to simplify. Now, I, you know, see, you hear me say that and you go, oh, fuck, man, come on, man. We got a WXYXZ here. We got a WXY here. I mean, so no, no doubt, some of these corrections, when you go down to, you know, you're down underneath a four hour here and you go down to the lower time frames, there's a lot of complexity here. And again, it's not for the novice Elliott trader here. I would go. Coincidentally, we, we offer you great education on how to get to this level of sophistication with Elliott Wave, right? It, it, the impulses are not what's challenging, right? It, the, the, the swings, it, it's the corrections, right? Where all the complexity in Elliott Wave comes, right? That, that, that's where it all comes, where it, it's challenging. An impulse 
for the most part, is going to be pretty pretty easy to spot, right? It's, you know, if if we're making progress in the trend, you can think it that way, right? If if we're moving forward in the trend, usually you're going to find that to be an impulse, right? Now, granted, of course, sometimes we're going to have diagonals where we're a trend is just kind of struggling to get started, which is often why you'll find them in this either a, a trend starting or ending, which is often why you'll find them in the A wave, the one wave, C wave, or the fifth wave, as as trends are are ending or starting, which just it makes, just makes common sense, right? It makes sense, right? Once once we're off and running, the impulse, right? Show me a five. So I'm not suggesting this is a simple count, right? But I, I think you can, out at the at larger degree, simplify in the context of what to expect next. Because I mean, that's really, right? I'm, I'm assuming both both members and YouTube subs that are here watching this video, or I mean, really, you can fuck, man, who cares about all that shit? What do I expect next, right? I, I get that, I understand, right? So now those of you that are, that are you know, really Elliot aficionados, you know, that are into every swing, can, can I label it? It's like, can you solve the puzzle, right? Can you do it without distorting rules and guidelines, right? Can you? Some people are drawn to that challenge, so some people don't give a shit, right? They say, well, fuck, I, what do I care? What, what, what's the next opportunity? You know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that we're all in alignment here, that, that, that we are very much in an uptrend, right? And, and still one of these, until one of these major pivots is taken out, right? We're, we're, we're in an uptrend, right? So let, let's not be, oh, let's not complicate things. All right, so swing, retrace, swing, retrace, swing. What what are we, now we don't know that that top is in right we got a little double top up here and again we've got nice little structure here oh the volume profile here is you know we're getting up on the upper edge here because I mean this is our all time high right so what to expect next well again no, nothing says we couldn't push out of here right as we've consolidated here I mean you might end up having to put the two here right if, if it's going to really kick out of here that that's more, more, it's the deepest retracement. You could look at, think of it that way. It's the deepest retracement along the way, right? On the assumption that this completed something here, we might have to put the two here, right? I'd rather not. I'd rather it be more traditional because then I know where I am. I'm pretty cer certain about this pivot here. Although, you know, again, right? You, you know, as certain as you can be in the markets. I mean, that could blow that out over the weekend. I mean, there's nothing says that couldn't happen. It's just, you know, all we get is probabilities, right? Patterns that tend to repeat and areas where we can anticipate algorithms, you know, getting involved, right? So, which, you know, we're about to look at here. So in terms of how do we simplify and then how do we, how do we use the tools that are part of the trade devil's methodology, right? Which I remind you guys, because so many of you get so caught up in the, in the Elliott count here. I, I have to remind you that is third on the list of priorities with regards to technical analysis, third, but it's where everybody wants to start. I know, I get it, right? I understand, right? It's kind of, you want to be, you know, if you're, if you're drawn to it, you want to be able to do it, right? Can you solve the puzzle, right? I mean, so again, you either love it or you hate it. Some people absolutely hate it. I get that, right? It's, it's not a requirement to trade successfully. It's not, but in terms of organizing the, the, the swing structure and just the randomness of the potential randomness of what can appear random to, to be able to organize it in, in fives and threes, right? At the end of the day, that's all we're doing. It's fives and threes. It, it certainly makes it easier to communicate, right? That, 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 there, there's, there's a lot of value in that. And, and for me to be able to teach, it gives me a, a structural foundation to work from. All right, so, all right, shit, I'm, I'm nine minutes in. I haven't said a fucking thing. Does that, the rest, anyone who's here looking for what to expect next? All right, I'm getting there. Okay, so let, let's just let's just rewind just a little bit. Okay, so if, if we sit here and we look at this again, I, we don't know, right? We don't know that that's done. But if this is done, and we're going to start to fall off here a little bit, all right? Let's just assume we've got our one here again. Now, maybe, maybe, you know, we got a little divergence in the RSI. You can see momentum waning here. The OBV is just on top of it. So it's not really helping here. Maybe, right? Maybe, yeah, we tagged 70. Now we're back to 50. You can see it here. Maybe, right? We're waning a little bit. It could just be the pause before we, we you know, it, it, this could be just some accumulation here as we sit here before we launch higher. No way to know. But if you're just looking at this going, okay, well, based on what Bitcoin typically does, or what you know, say it differently. What the markets typically do, whether it's here or here, right? What what would we anticipate? Right? Is there is there any reason not to anticipate that? 
I mean, here, you know, it's just funny, right? So I, I say that, and right here, right, we had just another three, right? It's just, that's all it was. It's just another three. Yeah, there's complexity to it. I, I get that. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that this wasn't tricky. But at the end of the day, it's swing, retraced to the golden zone, in in while yeah again there's complexity here but at its foundation it's a three-legged swing J just like this one was right here right same thing right that that what, you know yeah it's a wxy but at the end of the day it's a three right there's complexity in that but it's a three so if we're sitting here going well if this is going to drift lower what what would i anticipate I, you know, this this is this is this is the, the 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 telling part about you know traders, right? So just like I had a lot of people very uncomfortable buying here, right? M members, right? I had senseis disagree with me here, not, not all of them, but a few, and some of my more advanced members here, they were just not comfortable buying that, which that's a mystery to me. I I, I don't understand. I mean, I've been pounding that into your heads for three years. How you don't buy that, I, I just don't understand. Again, I say, why would you not take that trade? Oh, I think it's going to be, you know, it's going to turn into a five, right? I think it's going to turn into a five. So this is, they're thinking, oh, it's going to turn into that. Okay, well, if that's the case, right, well, what was your risk there, right? You got a $10,000 swing. You were risking, what, 200 Maybe? Maybe that? Less than that. Pretty good odds, right? So in terms of what, what's coming down here, if it's coming down, is there any reason why you wouldn't anticipate that that to, if it well let's let's say it this way if it comes in a three, right? I'd like I'd like to think you're going to take this one, right? You can, if right if we know we know Bitcoin loves the golden zone, right? But this was a fifty. Right? It's not always a golden zone. This was a golden zone. Golden zone, right? If it comes down into this pocket, right? Do, do you see what what happens here again? I, I don't have this. I don't know that this is the one. But look at the confluence here. Right, you, you see how this target is, is here, but this target here, if I wiggle that, right, you, we've got, well, here, let's, let's take, them, take them off here so you can see them better here. So note here, I've got swing golden zone. Here's my, here's my target right here off of this pivot, right? So now if I get this again, well, here's first target, where's second target? It's literally on top of that one. It's on top of the larger one, right, confluence, right? If we're gonna get a true third, we might be anticipating it up here, right? Again, I don't have this. This one I have. Right, so if I if I get this one back on, right? I should I think I hit it, but if we get it back on, right, if we're going up to some of these upper pivots here, right? Well, we got some juicy targets up here. But remember, we we've got another one here as well. Right, let's not let's not forget the unrealized. Let's get this one back on. All right, so swing low, swing high. Okay. So look at this nice confluence we have up here. Now, granted, this is this is the early pivot here. If we're going to go off of this one, right, I know that gets a little hard to see. It's easier when you're doing it yourself, right? So there, there's the there's the little one. Pardon me, right here, right? So be just pivoting beyond this this high, right? We just be getting beyond the high to get the median line, break this pivot. You know, there's going to be stops there, right? So that th those stops can be can be the fuel that, right? So those will be. Those will be people getting stopped, right? That were short here, so they'll have to put longs on that. That can be the fuel that kicks it, right? But we're not there yet. I'm getting ahead of myself right here, but just, you can kind of see. So look, we get that double confluence here. Then we've got this one here. So we get a nice, really sweet target zone up here. 65 to 66. Now, we don't know, right? It, nothing says it has to stop there, but that certainly wouldn't be surprising if we, if we went up here and tagged that Right, and then went on our way into a one, two, right? So this would be one, two, potentially one, two of the three. We don't know, right? We're just kind of just kind of set the set the the mindset here, if I can, um, in terms of what we might anticipate here. So let me clean some of this up here. I know it's getting mighty crowded, right? So again, we don't have this, but we have this one and we have this one. All right. So if we come down here and this, you know, if that goes out, we have to put the one and a half on that. Well, let's try. Um, yeah, well, let's go 1.25. Let's put that in. Uh, oh, we'll put it in, in this green here. All right, so something like that, right? So we get a, a running parallel down here at the 50 to the golden zone. You know, if you, if you miss this one, right, as you'll often hear me say, right, if, you don't, if you're not comfortable here, don't miss the next one. Now, does that mean that that's a guaranteed winner? Well, of course not, right? Nobody can, if anyone's telling you that, they're full of shit, right? So just here, 
but I can look at that and say, well, if I come down here, again, let, let, let's tee it up right here. I know I'm kind of running at the mouth here, but so we got a little low volume here. If we come down to this, you can kind of see some structure that might might kick in here. Well, here's a pivot, right? So that'd be below it. So if we were going to go beyond this, ideally, well, let's see, if I was going to do it here for an ad, I'd use the 707. Oh, come here. Yeah, there it is. So I, I'd use it. I'd put it down here below. I might even use the 786 here just to give it structure to come down here and pop that. So again, that's, that's you know, what's what's the risk there? Mm, 55 to 51, right? So, you know, you, you got you, you, you to gotta be smart about what you can afford there that's that's reasonable here. But that's that's where I'd be looking to add, right? In, into this ad, in this ad, right? Again, these are, you know, many years of doing this. I don't hesitate at these. I don't hesitate here. That's my signature trade. Why would I not take this? Fuck, of course I'm going to take that trade. All right, okay. So if we come back down here to, to this kind of a zone here, I'd like to think, right, that this time, right, you won't let it get away from you like this one. All right, this one was a little trickier, right, as we came into a complex correction. Here's what I'm trying to get to. All right, let, let, let's just go back here. Let, let, this, what I was trying to do here is I was trying to come up with something for you guys today. I went back to the start of this and saying, God, you know, there's, 12 different ways you can count this, right? Which makes it annoying, really, to be perfectly honest, right? Because it's just very difficult to get a feel for where a good two is. Is this the one, two, right? Then we got a shallow two. Here's a clean impulse. But this, to me, looks much more like a three, right? This is this is hard, hard to, to, to get out of. It looks like it's a running flat here. And this there's some complexity in this, right? So it's this is this is a difficult count to, to, to get your arms around here until it starts to go. So really it's, it's, it's about, you know, oh shit here. We just take all of this action right, right around here. This is when we, we really start to rip, right? So here's the push. We come back, we test it. So even if you, if you brought this down here, right, you can just look at this and say, okay, accumulation, accumulation, there's the break. Here's the retest. Now we go. Well, if you just, just do a, just, use the most basic fib pull that I teach you guys over and over and over again, and you just start working these up. What I'm trying to do is build the case in terms oh shit. I'm trying to build the case in terms of what to expect. Sorry, that's my wife. Okay, so let's, um, let's, let's, let's just do it from, from I'm going to decline that. Okay, let's, let's pull it from here, from the low here to the pivot. Okay, let me get... Let me get this on. Okay, so if I get right, right on this. Okay, so in terms of what to expect, so we come th three, right? So this one is a little funky, I will admit, right? It was a struggle, right? So we're trying to start the new trend and it's not until we get here that now the sequence stays consistent, right? We know 50 or a golden zone is where algos are gonna participate. So coming off of this, this being the deepest retracement had, oh, I guess with the exception of the one, two here, this being the deepest retrace that we get, and we go into this funky little, what I, I think looks like a running flat to me. Now, now, now it starts. Okay, now we go swing. There's my three. All right, so there's my three into a golden zone. I want to take that. All right, so now we just we just keep going. All right, so let's. Oh, this one here I think is all right. If we even even if I just use the lowest low, right, golden zone, swing, golden zone. Right here's third target. Right, so it looks like a three. Okay, let's just let's let's keep going. Okay, up to the next pivot. From um, you could use either one, right? We know they use this one. Here you just got some wicks through the 50 if you want to use the lower pivot, right? Cuz you don't you don't we we never know for sure what they're going to use, but here looking at that's almost to the tick. I'd be pretty confident that they use this pivot here. All right, so second target to the tick, right? So you see, for, that, that's often the way that you kind of dial it in. Was there what was the reaction at the target, right? So I got a reaction at first target, a reaction at second target. All right, so looking pretty good. Okay, so we come here, swing 50, right? Now we just went through these, but look, look what we're doing here. This one, again, looks like a running flat ABC, ABC, right? Kind of a double bottom here. We go again, right? Where's the next, we get a swing, where's the next retracement? Get it right on that. Okay, this one's a 50, ABC, ABC. A, B, expanded B, a little trickier here. A, B, C, clean as a bell. Clear as a bell, I should say. A little, little funky here. Could be interpreted a couple of different ways, but I still, I think it's a three. And using the pivot, we know that was a perfect 50, if I get this right on here. Swing, A, B, C. 
swing that is the one we just looked at abc right to the golden zone so it's either 50 or golden zone 50 or the entire way up 50 or golden zone so as we sit here looking at this you know i take you back here what are we anticipating here is there any reason to not anticipate this? Now, I, again, we could we could launch higher. So I don't know that we're coming down. No, nobody knows where it's going. Well, some would tell you, right? They know where it's going to be eventually. But right now, in terms of where's the next trading opportunity, there's just no reason to do anything other than, I mean, take, you can take all, all of that Elliott count off, right? And just say, give me the fives and give me the threes. Right? You can almost ignore it all. ABC, 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 ABC fives and threes, right? If, if you want to simplify Elliott, that's the way to do it. Swing, did, did I get the retrace in three? Swing, am I going to get a retrace in three? Well, it remains to be seen, but I wouldn't be shying away from this, right? Now, by the way, look at Vegas Wave, right? Yeah, we got through it here. If it comes in a three, I, I, again, I don't know why would you not take that trade? If, if, right? We don't know, right? If, if we come, we come to this point here, Vegas wave, right? We can put the buying profile back on here. See if we've got any help from that. Kind of a low volume divot here. Stop. I mean, you, you use whatever's appropriate for your risk tolerance, right? Based on size, are you trading with leverage or not? I would suggest not or keep the leverage very light so you're not squeezed out. Into a three? I, I, you know, again, why, why would you not take that trade? All right, guys, there we go. That's, that's about all I can offer up today. Until we get clarity here, it looks like it, it may be starting here, right? It may get, going into the weekend, it's always a wild card, right? We don't know what to expect, right? coming down for a three i think you take that all day long and until this pattern breaks where we're not getting swing retrace and three swing retrace and three swing we shall see here you trade them till they fail all right guys there you go that's all i can bring up uh today here and believe me i looked but i think at the end of the day simplify and, and don't be afraid to pull the trigger right put a bloody stop on it but you know, look at the risk reward. Are you comfortable with it? If you are, don't hesitate. It's that hesitation waiting for, oh God, is it safe? Right? It, like here, is, is it is it safe? Right? Even if you didn't get the first push off of the pivot low. Right? Remember, the, the, the further you wait, if you wait, right? If you wait for it, okay, is it safe? Is it safe? Well, no, all you've done is just increase the distance to your stop. Right? That's the benefit of trying to get in. Now you can go, you know, you could go down to a 15 minute and say, okay, give me a little bit of a push, right? Just, just something to tell me that I'm not just going to free fall through it, right? That we're not just going to do this. So a little pause here down on a smaller time frame, 15, 30 minutes, something like that, you know, very reasonable. But if you're out here on a four hour and you're waiting, oh, let me get on the other side of the 50 and then I'll be a little bit more, more convinced that it's going to come out of here. Well, I got to get through that low. I got to get through that low. You know, before you know it, you're, you're, you're so far from your stop. You've taken what was a low risk trade because you were waiting until it was safe. And now you've turned it into a much higher risk trade. No reason to do that. Again, you don't need to pick the turn. Right. If it comes again, let's assume it comes in a three, get a little bounce, right? Something to show you, okay, there's a reaction there. I think it's probably, I mean, very, very low probability. Here's the 233 right here. If we're coming right to the golden zone here, we know algos are going to participate there. What, you know, again, you don't have to take my word for it. Just go back through every, every pivot swing that, Jesus, there's probably 500 of them here off the COVID low. You don't need to take my word for it. Do it yourself. Low risk trade, great potential reward. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it there. Have a good weekend. As always, right, you guys know you can join us for free through the white belt here. You just join us, jump on the Discord. Links are directly below. We, by the way, we can't do the free Discord link anymore because we were just getting blasted by robots. So that's why you don't see that anymore. So as always, you can just go over to our website, hit click the link to tradedevils.com. Free to join if you want to start there. Many people do. Start on the white belt, get a feel for it. If you want to go further, then you can move up to the belt system or the educational membership. If you're like, mm, I don't know, just to stair step into it, just go to social. That's a very common path from free to social. You get fired up about the belt system. They want that extra education, then they go educational. All right, guys, that's all I got. Have a good weekend. Talk to you next